Hey, my name is Ben. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to show you the symptoms of a furnace that has a blown fuse. Uh, now, not the fuse breaker that feeds the furnace, like in the circuit panel over there. I'm talking about a little fuse that lives on the control board of the furnace. Let me show you where that's at. So here we are looking at the control board of the furnace, and typically that's going to be located in the lower compartment. So you have an upper compartment that has the combustion blower and burners, and then the lower compartment has our control board and our main furnace blower. Now you'll see right here on this control board, there's a little fuse, and right there it says three on the end of it, which means it's a three amp fuse. So if I shine a light up through the bottom of it, you guys should be able to see that this thing is burnt out. All right, so right there is the fuse. You can see that little bit of a black smudge, and then you can see right there that there's no filament inside of that fuse anymore that is good. So before I take it out of there, I'll show you what it does with the fuse blown. Now this particular model, it's gonna bring the main blower on, and the main blower is just gonna run continuous. But in a lot of furnaces, nothing will happen at all. If that fuse is blown, it means absolutely none of these controls down here are gonna work, because all the low voltage controls that come from the thermostat, have to come from the power that's going through that fuse. So if the fuse is blown, the heat won't work, the air won't work, the fan won't work. But this one has a safety feature built in, so when we press this switch, it should bring on the main blower and it'll just run it continuously. Just like that, and that's a safety feature to clear out any gas or air that might be, uh, you know, have some propane or something like that in it. So, I'm going to let go of the switch. Here, if you look at the code down there, it's flashing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So then the upper combustion blower shut off and the furnace main blower keeps running. So, that's what this particular furnace does. Let's look if we can see if and we can find that code. This is helpful for troubleshooting. Right there it tells us six flashes, open rollout slash open control fuse. So very specific on this particular furnace. Now not all furnaces are gonna tell you that specifically, that it's the fuse, but in this case it did. So we'll go ahead and pull this fuse out and we're gonna replace it, but before you replace the fuse, you're gonna to wanna to check to see if you can find why the fuse would have tripped. And I'll show you the most common scenarios. This particular house is in the middle of being remodeled and the thermostat wires were moved. They were pu pulled out of the wall and relocated. But a lot of times what can happen is if these wires get shorted out and specifically if the common wire, which is typically blue, gets shorted out to the red wire, which has our 28 volts of low voltage on it, that will just tr blow that little fuse immediately. Now technically if you shorted the red out to these other colors, it wouldn't necessarily blow the fuse. If you short the red to green, it'll bring on the fan. Red to yellow brings on the compressor and the air conditioner outside if you have a standard system. And red to white brings on the furnace. Common basically acts as the neutral uh, in this situation. So it's the return path to the frame of the furnace or to the other side of the transformer. So. The common terminal is used to power thermostats. A lot of uh, smart thermostats require a common wire, so that's what that's for. So if you haven't moved your thermostat, and so you don't think that that would have caused your fuse to trip out, then the next most likely uh, situation is going to be some shorted out wires in the side of your air conditioner. Because a lot of times mice like to get up in here and have a party, and a lot of times they'll chew off these little thermostat wires and they'll either short to the frame of the air conditioner or they'll short to each other which will trip out that little fuse. So before you would ever want to check anything inside of there you want to make sure that you disconnect the power to the unit and verify that it is off but a lot of times mice can cause those fuses to trip. Now the way to prevent that fuse from tripping like if you're going to move your thermostat is to basically just turn the power off to the furnace which in this case is breaker number 20. So by turning the power off to the furnace that will prevent that transformer from running so you will have no low voltage at the thermostat. So if you do that, you're not going to accidentally short out those wires. Plus having the power turned off while you replace 
that fuse is a good idea. Even though on the side of the furnace, or in on the front of the furnace, like we were just looking at here a minute ago, you saw me press that switch, that uh, right there at the top corner, that's called the door switch. So when we press this, it connects power, and when we release it, it disconnects it. But it's still safer to have it turned off in the breaker panel. So we'll go ahead and leave that off, and then we'll install our new fuse. I'll put a link right at the top of the description for you guys if you need to buy a couple replacement fuses for your furnace. These little 3 amp fuses are pretty inexpensive. Uh, a lot of times the instruction manuals for these furnaces say that you can put up to a 5 amp fuse. So if for some reason you can't find a 3 amp, check your instructions and see if they are um, if they permit the use of a 5 amp because a lot of times you can get the 5 amp fuses just like this at your regular hardware store if you don't want to wait for one to come in the mail. So let's go ahead and put this in here. And then we saw upstairs already that the uh, thermostat is off the wall and all those wires are not touching each other. So we'll go ahead and turn the power back on and we'll put the cover back on this furnace. So once I push this door on here, that's gonna essentially connect power. So nothing should really happen because we have a fuse in there now and the safety measure shouldn't, shouldn't cause it to do anything basically at all. We'll see though. Yep. So as you see, we put the cover on, nothing happened. Now if we go upstairs, I'll cross a couple wires and just show you guys that this thing is working properly. And this is also how you can, I'll make a separate video actually covering how to use your furnace without a thermostat, but for now I'll just go show you guys really quick that it is working. So here we are with the thermostat wires again. You can see we have the red and the green. This is going to turn on the fan, so let's go ahead and cross these guys right here. So there you hear the fan came on just fine. Alright, that's pretty much all you need to know for furnace fuses in particular. Click on this video right here if you want to see how to run your furnace and air conditioner with no thermostat. I'd really appreciate it if you guys hit that subscribe button right down below this video. Over 90% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed, so would love it if you're part of that 10% crowd that do subscribe. It'd be awesome. All right, thanks a ton, and we'll talk to you right over there.